Hello friends, yeah, welcome to uh, Humanology uh, Facebook Live Edition, yeah, where we watch some YouTube videos and then uh, make some video commentaries, right? Yeah, welcome. Happy Monday. Yeah, let me clean my eyeglasses with wonderful toilet paper. Yeah, my eyeglasses are a little bit too oily, I guess. Good enough. Yeah, let's continue uh, the video commentary of like uh, Biden Trump debate in YouTube. Yeah, the Wall Street Journal election. Yeah, yeah. it is outdated because Biden is no longer in the race, but it, it's still entertaining to watch. Okay, and um, yeah, they talk about inflation. Okay, when it comes to inflation, I agree with Mr. Trump. Okay, yeah, I mean Democratic Party, they are worried about global warming, climate change, so they suppress fossil fuel. I, uh, yeah, I have to agree with the Republican Party, Republican Party on that because uh, global warming, fossil fuel, climate change, there's nothing to worry about it, okay, because uh, as a scientist, okay, yeah, 66 million years ago, where dinosaur roamed the planet Earth, Earth was very warm and there were a lot of carbon dioxide in the air. Carbon is building block of life, okay. So, as we develop oil and gas, we are resurrecting dinosaurs, okay? So, more carbon dioxide in there, warm weather, there will be more plants, and there will be more animals, and they, the animal plants, they become very big, like 60 million years ago, okay? Yeah, dinosaur, big trees, big animals, okay? Because there were so many carbon dioxide in the air back then, okay? So, okay? So, yeah, so climate change. Global warming, yeah, it's a good thing for planet Earth, okay? As we use more, more fossil fuel, more carbon dioxide in the, carbon dioxide in the, in the air, and then uh, we have more plants because that's what plants need, warm weather and more carbon dioxide. That's what plants need, photosynthesis, that's science, okay? And as we have fossil fuel, more oil and gas, it'll drive the price down. I agree with Mr. Trump on that, okay? Because, uh, yeah, fossil fuel, yeah, transportation, okay? They ship all the goods and all the goods, products, okay? Yeah. So I have to agree with Mr. Trump on that issue, okay? To be fair, okay? Yeah. All right, but let's go. I'm not supporting any candidates here, okay? I'm not supporting Harris, Biden, Trump. No, I'm running for U.S. president. Okay, I'm gonna vote for myself. Okay, yeah, All right. yeah. let's go. Yeah, yeah. The eighth episode of uh, debate commentary. Sure. Yeah, I like these people. They're good-looking people. They are very uh, hilarious and fun to watch. Okay. Yeah. To say the least. Let's go. Yeah, I like both of them, okay? Yeah. And the worst president in the history of the United States of America. President Biden, thank you so much. Let's turn to the cost of child care, which many American families struggle to afford. President Trump, both you and President Biden, have tried to address this issue. But the average cost of child care in this country Good is risen more than $11,000 yeah, yeah. a year per child. For many families, the cost of child care like for actors, two right? children yeah. is more than their rent. In your second term, what would you do to make child care more affordable? Very entertaining. Yep. Just to go back, the general got fired because he was no good. And if he said that, that's why he made it up. But we have 19 people that said I didn't say it. And they're very highly yeah. respected, yeah. much more so Pretty than him. The other thing is, he doesn't fire people. He never fired people. I've never seen him fire anybody. I did fire a lot. I fired Comey because he was no good. I fired a lot of the top people at the FBI, drained the swamp. They were no good. Not easy to fire people. You pay a price for it, but they were no good. I inherited these people. I didn't put them there. I didn't put Comey there. He was no good. I fired him. This guy hasn't fired. Well, uh, look. FBI Director James Comey, he tremendously helped uh, Trump's 2016 campaign because uh, FBI, then FBI Director James Comey, very tall gentleman, okay, he... Uh, they started the investigation of uh, then uh, contender 
means Hillary Clinton's like email like server issue okay so Mr. FBI Director James Comey he really helped Trump to be elected in 2016 against Hillary Clinton okay so Trump by firing uh, FBI Director James Comey he betrayed people who supported him he did that to Michael Cohen he did that to Rudy Giuliani so many people who work for him who are loyal to him okay so that's down that Trump's character okay he betrayed his own people okay too selfish inhumane But he's funny. I like him as a comedian, reality TV show host, but not as president. No, no. Okay? Because he lacks moral quality. Okay? And that's a very, very bad role model to be US president. Okay? How about Harris? Uh, I love her big smile. She was very positive, optimistic, big smile, left her. She has very good sense of humor, Harris, okay? Trump, we've seen her, seen him enough, right? But Harris, well, you've seen her being VP, but that doesn't mean anything, okay? She doesn't want to outshine her boss, Biden, right? So, so it's kind of the shadow. But after Biden handled the torch, now she's coming out herself as presidential candidate okay, and she's shining right yeah how interesting development right yeah. but i'm voting for myself i'm running for you as president as independent okay so i'm not endorsing any other candidates i'm endorsing myself i'm endorsing you if you're running for your president okay <laughs> okay <coughs> let's continue yep yep okay So I don't recommend people working for Donald J. Trump because he betrayed people who work for him, okay? Yeah. That's what he does many times, right? Yeah. Right, anybody. He never fires. He should have fired every military man that was involved with that Afghan, the Afghanistan uh, horror show, the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. He didn't fire. Did you fire anybody? Did you fire anybody that's on the border that's allowed us to have the worst border? That well, uh, when it comes to the withdrawal of U.S. military from Afghanistan, okay, I think it was a good idea. I think, yeah, it was not perfect, but I think President Biden made the right call. It was time to withdraw. Look, I, I deployed to Afghanistan, 2011, okay, uh, during President Barack Obama's administration 2011 okay so yeah i love afghanistan okay the great people we work together okay yeah. afghanistan uh civilian contractors they're fantastic people great culture there okay i of course i do not agree with this like some uh, middle eastern countries oppression of women's right because i'm i advocate for women's right okay so, but hey nobody's perfect okay they evolve yeah they give Women's right later on, maybe in 30 years. Okay, in the Middle East. Okay, yeah. I'm optimistic. Okay, okay, but I think President Biden, it was not perfect execution, but I think he made the right decision to pull out of Afghanistan. Okay, yeah, let's continue. Sure. The history of the world did anybody get fired for allowing 18 million people many from prisons many from from mental institutions did you fire anybody that allowed our country to be destroyed joe our country is being destroyed as you and i sit up here and waste a lot of time on this debate this shouldn't be a debate he is the worst president he just said about me because i said it uh but look He's the worst president in the history of our country. He's destroyed our country. Now all of a sudden he's trying to get a little tough on the border. He come out, came out with a, a nothing, a nothing deal, and it reduced it a little bit. 
a little bit, like this much. It's insignificant. He wants open borders. He wants our country to either be destroyed or he wants to pick up those people as voters. And I don't think we just can't let it happen. If he wins this election, our country doesn't have a chance, not even a chance of coming out of this rut. We probably won't have a country left anymore. That's how bad it is. He is the worst. It okay, so uh, with the benefit of hindsight, right? Yeah, uh, uh, Joe Biden is never to be underestimated. Okay, because he's like, uh, he went to law school in Syracuse University of tenure. Okay, I've been to Syracuse, wonderful town. Okay, and he passed the bar exam in Delaware. Yeah, business law, corporate law, right? It's one of the most difficult bar exam to pass. Okay, but he passed it, okay? So Joe Biden is a very smart man, okay? So he was smart enough to pass the torch to Kamala Harris. He was smart enough to, smart enough to pick Kamala Harris for vice president, okay? Joe Biden is a smart man, okay? So he passed the torch to Kamala Harris. Now, uh, Trump and, you know, with the benefit of 2020 hindsight, okay, now Trump campaign is in serious trouble these days. Yeah, even August 2024 right now. Yeah, so. They were ready for Joe Biden, but they were not ready for Kamala Harris. Okay? I mean, Kamala Harris, I mean, uh, I mean, she's not very knowledgeable, okay? She's not, she's smart. But she's not educated in science. She may major in economics and political science, right? But she neither knows science nor knows economics, okay? And she has no knowledge of science, like physics, mathematics, biology, okay? Uh, but she's this beaming smile, positivity, optimism, right? As opposed to this Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, angry, like dark, Dishonesty, right? Alice Cameron has doesn't have any of that. Okay. And Donald Trump, yeah, criminality, right? Illegality. Cameron is, yeah, she, she, she used to be a prosecutor. Who prosecute criminals, <laughs> criminals like Donald Trump, okay? Corrupt criminals, okay? So, it'll be interesting to see how it develops. Like next three months, it's August now, 2024. Yeah, election is November. Yeah, it will be very interesting to see. Okay. Now let's take five minutes break. I some vocal rest. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to Humanology Facebook Live Edition. Yeah. Yeah. This footage will will be uploaded to YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. The debate commentary, right? Episode eight. Yeah. Five minutes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Five minutes. Thank you. Yeah, how interesting, right? Yeah, politics is so fun. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm, one of the main reasons I'm running for US president, okay? Yeah, I mean it. I mean, the, want to be in the game. Fun politics. Yeah. All right, five minutes, thank you. Yep.
Okay, welcome back, we're back. Thank you for joining us this wonderful Monday evening. Yeah, happy Monday. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Biden, Trump, I never get enough of this gentleman, okay? Uh, they're just good looking people, yeah? Very photogenic. Yeah, the reaction just split screen, fantastic. Yeah, by the way, uh, like uh, in the split screen, like Instagram live situation, yeah, like like this and this, okay. Uh, but the thing is, like, uh, I have to make sure uh, they are adults and they are single, and uh, make sure I have to make sure they are straight people. So I, but it's a good idea, I guess. Same gender, adults or whatever. Straight people can do that, yeah, like split screen here and there, right? Stuff like that. Okay, yeah, that's great idea. Yeah, okay. Hmm. But as single adult male, yeah, I, I, I'm not allowed to do that. Okay, so. Okay, but maybe between family members. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Yep. Mm hmm. Okay. In history by far. Thank you, President Trump, President Biden. We are the most admired country in the world. We're the United States of America. There's nothing beyond our capacity. No, no, I disagree, okay? I mean that... Yeah, it's kind of attitude that's shared by both Republican Party and Democratic Party, okay? America is the best country. I, I look, I love America. That's why I'm here in America, Alaska, America. Okay, but that's kind of like uh, arrog American arrogance. America is the best country. I do not like that attitude at all. I think it's extremely disrespectful to other countries. So I disagree with both parties, Democrats and Republicans. Okay, oh, this America is the best country. Well, uh, I. I think that's a very arrogant attitude that's very harmful to America. That's not patriotism, I don't think. I think it's a fake patriotism. Okay? Because that kind of American arrogance, what does that lead to? Unpopularity of America, American products. Even foreign terrorism against America, okay? Yeah, so it's a bad attitude to have. All right? What do they know? Yeah, I'm brand new, next generation, new age or politician, okay? So, yeah, that kind of attitude, American arrogance, is bad, it's very toxic, and it's harmful to America. Okay? Alright, right, let's continue. Okay. I appreciate other countries, okay? Yeah. I mean, I love America, that's why I'm here, but I appreciate other countries, okay? Yeah. I love all countries equally, yeah? We have the finest military in the history of the world. The finest in the history of the world. No one thinks we're weak. No one wants to screw around with us. Nobody. Number one. Number two, the idea that we're talking about worst presidents. I wasn't joking. Look it up, go online. 159 or 58, don't know the exact number, uh, presidential historians, they've had meetings and they voted who's the worst president in American history, one through best to worst. They said he was the worst in all of American history. That's a fact. That's not, a, that's not conjecture. He can argue the wrong, but that's what they voted. The idea that he is knowing, doing anything to deal with child care. He did very for virtually nothing to child care. We should significantly increase the child care tax credit. We should significantly increase the availability of women and men or single parents to be able to go back to work. And we should encourage businesses to hold, to have. Thank you, President Biden. President Trump, the question was about what would you do to make child care more affordable if you want to take your minute? Uh, just so you understand, we have polling, we have other things that do, they rate him the worst because what he's done is so bad. Yeah. And they rate me, I'll show you, I will show you. And they rate me one of the best, okay? And if I'm given another four years, I will nice be the smile. best. I yeah, think bro. I'll be the best. Nobody's ever 
created an economy like us. Nobody ever cut taxes. Yeah, like editorial cartoonists, the they love them. He wants them, to okay? raise your taxes so, by four times. Yeah, yeah. He wants to raise everybody's taxes by four times. He wants the Trump tax cuts to expire. So everybody, including the two of you, are going to pay four to five times. Nobody ever heard of this before. All my life I grow up and I see politicians talking about cutting taxes. When we cut taxes, as I said, we did more business. Apple and all these companies, they were bringing money back into our country. The worst president in history by far, and everybody knows it. President Biden? Look, the fact of the matter is that he's dead wrong about... He's okay, so Trump, he learned a lesson, right? Yeah, he's keeping his time, right? Not going over time. Okay, okay. Well, it's kind of formulated to this debate format, actually. Okay, but he's learning a lesson. Okay, okay. good. Increase the tariff. He's increased. He will increase the uh, taxes on middle class people. I said I'd never raise the tax on anybody making less than four hundred thousand dollars. I didn't. But this tariff is ten percent tariffs. Everything coming into the country. You know what the economists say? That's going to cost the average American two thousand five hundred dollars a year more because they're going to have to pay the difference in food and all the things that are imported. Number two, he's in a situation where. Yes, yeah, so I mean, both Trump and Biden, right? Yeah, they want to impose tariff against China. Yeah, welcome, friends. Yeah, thank you for joining. Yeah, welcome. Good evening, future leaders. Yeah. So I'm against tariff, period. Okay, but both Trump and Biden, they hate China. They want to impose tariff, like importation tax against China. I think it's a very bad idea. Okay, I love China. Okay, because Chinese people are smart. Okay. If America impose this importation tax tariff that both Biden and Trump does, okay, then they just pass it on to American consumer, okay. China Chinese business people they're not gonna lose a single money, okay. It will be American people, consumers, who will pay the tariff. Okay? So Trump Biden, they don't know what they are doing, okay? They don't understand economics, they don't understand business. Trump, he prides himself as a business person, right? But uh, he was not a very successful business person, actually. Okay. It's just a little bit, but not too much. Okay. <laughs> Although I, I do appreciate him, uh, like coming back, like after business failure, he reinvented himself, rebranded himself as a reality talk show host in the entertainment business. That was very smart. I appreciate Trump about that, okay? I do. Okay? So, to be fair, okay? Yeah. I'm independent. I have luxury to appreciate uh, both Democrats and Republicans and independents, okay? Because I'm independent myself, okay? Okay? Yeah. Independent thinker, okay? I have that luxury, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Very cool. How entertaining. Intellectual entertainment, right? Yeah, politics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice hobby. Yeah. He talks about how he has not raised, he's, he's, he's somehow helped the middle class. The middle class has been devastated by you. Now you want a new tax cut of $5 trillion over the next 10 years, which is going to fundamentally bankrupt the country. You had the largest deficit of any president in American history, number one. Number two, you have not, in fact, made any contact, any, Great reaction any, job, any right? progress. Yeah. With China, we are the lowest trade deficit with China since 2010. Thank Three you, President Biden. You lost Thank you, President Biden. Let's inter let's discuss an epidemic impacting millions of Americans that both of you have made a top priority in your first term: the opioid crisis. And for both of you, uh, the number of overdose deaths in this country has gone up. Under your term, it went up. Under your term, it has gone up. Uh, former President Trump, despite the efforts that both of you have made. More than 100,000 Americans are dying from overdoses every year, primarily from fentanyl and other opioids. What will you do to help Americans right now in the throes of addiction who are struggling to get the treatment they need? To finish up, we now have the largest deficit in the history of our country under this guy. We have... Okay. Yeah, Mr. Trump's still ignoring the question, right? Yeah, well, that's typical of him. It's not surprising at all, right? But... Yeah, opioid can pandemic or any drug problem, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, what I'm just presidential candidate myself, independent, very unknown, okay? 
But what I would do is this, yeah, martial arts education, martial arts education, healthy hobbies, martial arts, singing, dancing, writing, acting, yeah, more physically active, right? Exercise, like running. Okay, yeah, push up, sit up, to my run. Like when I was in US Army, right? I still do that, okay? Yeah. Physical training, PT, okay? Yeah, it's about healthy lifestyle. No, we don't need drugs. I, look, I drink alcohol, I smoke cigarettes. Because I'm 40, 46, yeah, I'm an adult, okay? I'm allowed to do so. That's what I need, okay? Yeah. Right? yeah, it's about healthy lifestyle, right? Yeah. But let's, for fun, let's hear what they have to say. <laughs> this is political comedy, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, they don't know, they're ignorant, okay, yeah. They have the largest deficit with China. He gets paid by China. He's a Manchurian candidate. He gets money from China. We have, so I think he's afraid to deal with them or something. But do you notice he never took out my tariffs because we bring in so much money with the tariffs that I imposed on China. He never took them away. He can't because it's too much money. It's tremendous. And we saved our steel industries and there was more to come. But he hasn't done that. But he hasn't cut the tariffs because he can't because it's too much money. But he's got the largest deficit in the history of our country. And he's got the worst the worst situation with China. China's going to own us if you keep allowing them to do what they're doing to us as a country. They are killing us as a country, Joe, and you can't let that happen. You're destroying our country. So, President Trump, you have 67 seconds left. The question was, what are you going to do to help Americans in the throes of addiction right now who are struggling to get the treatment they need? Jake, we were doing very well at addiction until the COVID came along. We had the two and a half, almost three years of like nobody's ever had before any country in every way. And then we had to get tough. And it was the drugs pouring across the border were it started to increase. We got great equipment. We bought the certain dog. That's the most incredible thing that you've ever seen. OK, let's go back COVID-19, year 2020, okay, four years ago. Yeah, I was in Alaska, America, right? I mean, I did not travel to Asia during that time. OK, so. But Donald Trump blamed China for COVID-19, right? And, but the thing is, epidemic, endemic, yeah, it happens, pandemic, it happens, yeah, like AIDS, it happened from San Francisco, America, California, okay? Yeah, but you, would, would he characterize it as like an American virus? Just because it started from San Francisco, California, America? I mean, those things happen anywhere in the world. Pandemic, with virus, they mutate. Look, I'm a scientist. I know about biology. Okay. Yeah, so it, it happens somewhere. Okay. So, but it happens in China. Okay. So he started to blame China because he had no solution. Okay. My solution for COVID-19, no lockdown, no, uh, shutdown. Okay. But it happened under Trump because he invited Dr. Fauci. He handed over the country to Dr. Fauci who shut down. Lockdown, okay? Mandate. CDC, right? It happened on the down the Trump. Not in Biden. Okay? Yeah, mandatory vaccination, mandatory masking, it happened on the down the Trump. It did not happen it did not start on the Biden. It started on the Trump. Because he had no knowledge of science. No whatsoever. So he's scared. Okay? Because he doesn't understand science. So he brought Dr. Fauci, handed over the country to Dr. Fauci. It's kind of like dictator, okay? Yeah, mandatory shutdown, lockdown, CDC, okay? Mandatory masking, mandatory vaccination. It happened under Trump, 2020, okay? And then later on, yeah, people got angry, claustrophobic, cabin fever. Then George Floyd, like, riot happened under Trump. He could not stop it. After that, yeah, January 6th. He didn't stop it, he encouraged that, okay? But before that, 2020, yeah, he blamed China for COVID-19. And yeah, making fun of Asians, like, yeah, Kung Flu. 
China virus, he kind of encouraged that kind of racism against American Asians who are innocent, like me. I was persecuted, not as much as some other parts of America, but in Alaska, I got this weird hostile stares, like going along with like Donald Trump's encouragement. Yeah, blame Asians, hate Asians. It's their fault. He encouraged that, Donald Trump. Okay, yeah. So I regretted ever having voted for Trump in 2016. Okay, I I regretted that vote decision. 2016, I did vote for Trump. Okay, 2016. Back then I was a registered Republican. Okay, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of friends in the Republican Party. They're great people. They're smart. They're good people. Okay, uh, but I did regret. Uh, voting for Trump and after January 6th, 2021, I got, I had to get out of the Republican Party. Now I'm independent ever since, okay? Yeah, because I was so disappointed. You know, I really enjoyed watching Donald J. Trump's Apprentice TV show. He was quite educational. He was a businessman, okay? I read his Autobiography, yeah, yeah, deal about yeah deal making, how to come back. I think I read like three books of his, okay. But I, he does not know me, Trump, Hunkily. He he does not know me. I know him, but he does not know me. I'm not famous, okay, but. Still, I felt very betrayed. After I voted for him and he got elected, 2016, right? Uh, next year, 2017, it was my time to renew my American passport. And Trump and his people gave me a very hard time renewing my passport. They would asked me to submit some documents to prove that I'm real American citizen. I had never had that problem when President Bill Clinton was there, when President George W. Bush Jr. was there. They did not give me a hard time renewing my passport. Yeah, my name is Hong Lee. It's a Korean name. I'm very proud of my Korean heritage, and I love my Korean name. Okay? But Donald J. Trump and his people, they want to mass deportation of illegal immigrants, okay? So they, based on my foreign name, they suspected that maybe I'm illegal immigrants, right? So, uh, but they did not deport me, obviously, because I'm still here in Alaska, America. Uh, so yeah, I complied. Yeah, I submitted all these documents, okay? Like my U.S. Army records, DD two four two DD two four ten. My membership in U.S. Army military organization, veterans organization, okay. Membership and back in the days, my University of Madison, Wisconsin transcript, Cornell University transcript. Graduate school and uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan law school transcript. Yeah, my birth certificate, Alaska driver's license, my license for United States patent agent. USPTO, pattern agent, and my Alaska lawyer's license. Yeah. I copied it, scanned it, and sent to Trump and his people. Hard copy, mail, snail mail.
And they are convinced that I'm American citizen, legitimate, okay? So, yeah, they decided to renew my passport, but they gave me very hard time. Okay? Yeah. They don't know who I am. They don't know I voted for Donald Trump 2016. I don't blame them for it. They're busy. They're dealing with like 300 millions of American people, okay? Yeah. I understand, okay? But still, I just do not like Donald Trump and his people's policy, xenophobia. Okay? I was disappointed. Very, because I, in many ways, uh, Donald Z. Trump, he was one of my role models, okay? But when he and his people tried to deport me from America, I felt very dis disappointed and betrayed. I'm being honest with you. I, they don't know me. They don't know who I am. They're in Washington, D.C., White House, right? And they don't know me. I'm just one of those 300 million people in America, okay? But still, to be honest, I felt personally betrayed by Trump and his people in Washington, D.C., okay? I was... shocked and heartbroken because I never knew about that side of Donald Trump until then like he would betray his own people his own supporters that was like 2017 it was before like 2021 January 6 yeah he betrayed January 6 writers right they went to jail. He didn't do anything about it, right? I realized uh, many January 6 rioters, yeah, they realized that, okay? Yeah, it's, this is not a person worthwhile to go to jail for, to ruin, ruin career reputation over, right? They realized that in 2021, right? I realized that in 2017, okay? When he and his people tried to deport me, It was appalling. Okay. I'm running for US president, okay? But between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, yeah, uh, it, it would be an easy pick, okay? I'm voting for myself, okay? So, uh, but uh, Trump, I don't want him to be US president ever again. Okay? Kamala Harris, I disagree. He's in many points because she's, she's Democrat. I'm kind of slightly conservative, center right, okay? But Kamala Harris, at least, she's not as bad as Trump. Okay. I like Trump as an entertainer, but not as president, no. Okay? Well, that's my opinion. I'm being honest. Okay? Yeah. Let's say five minutes later. Thank you. Yep. <sighs> Political drama, right? Sure, yeah. Yep. <sighs> Yeah. I do not like mass this deportation, okay? Yeah, people, even if they are illegal immigrants, if they are willing to work in America, if they are legit, if they are not criminals, I want them to stay and get a job in America, okay? That's my opinion, okay? I do not like mass deportation, no. no. That's inhumane. That's unchristian. It's like, Merciless. That's not what Jesus would recommend, in my opinion, okay? Yeah. Five minutes back. Thank you.
Okay, welcome back, we're back. Uh. So there's three more minutes in this footage. We do like 10 minutes by 10 minutes, right? Yeah, video commentary. Each episode and uh Okay. Yeah, so I mean Trump and his people, I mean my recommendation if you are working for Donald Trump as an employee, I recommend that you get out of there. Okay. Yeah, because I learned that Trump he betrayed his own people. Okay, who are loyal to him. So it's very dangerous place to be in. Okay, it's not a good employer. Okay. My recommendation if you are working for Trump as an employee, uh I re my recommendation is yeah, quit your job and get out of there out of there. Okay. That was my recommendation, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's just too dangerous, okay. Rudy Giuliani, he lost his lawyer's license and uh, a judge who, former judge who worked for Trump, uh, she lost her lawyer's license too, okay? And January 6th rioters who worked for Donald Trump, they went to jail, ruined their reputation, career, okay? And people even died, okay? This is a dangerous man, okay? So I would rather I rec my recommendation is yeah, get out of Trump land as soon as possible before it collapses. Okay? Because that will be my prediction. Okay? I made this prediction like a couple of years ago too. Okay? Yeah, Donald Trump yeah, will go down in history in a spectacular fashion. Okay? I, so when the Donald Trump's castle built on lies, dishonesty, falsehood, before, yeah, the castle built on sand, before it collapses, get out of there. Yeah, Donald J. Trump's ship is sinking. Now abandon the ship and get out of there. And save your life and your career, your reputation. Okay, that would be my recommendation. And I'm being very serious. Okay. Okay. If Donald J. Trump is a sorcerer, magician, right? He's charming, good liar and storyteller. Okay, I get it. He's funny. Entertaining, okay? But, uh, still, you need to get out of there, okay? You just into the television, but do not work for Trump. Because, uh, you may get hurt. Like many people who used to work for Trump, now they are fired, betrayed by Trump, and they're in a very bad job market, to say the least. Okay? Yeah. Well, that would be my recommendation. Yeah, be, please be disenchanted by Trump, okay? Yeah, just get out of that Trump spell, like magical spell, get out of there, okay? And live there. Go somewhere else. That would be my recommendation, okay? And I am being very serious. Okay? Yeah. Alright. Let's continue. Okay? But I like him as an entertainer, but not as president. No. We've seen enough of him, okay? So. He has his chance. Okay. okay? Yeah. Let's continue. Okay, let's check out the next three minutes, okay? Sure. Yeah. Okay. But I love Trump. It's funny, okay? Don't get me wrong. Good entertainer, okay? But not a good president, though. Okay? Yeah. I'm being fair here. Okay? Yeah. The way they can spot it, we did a lot. And we had, we were getting very low numbers. Very, very low numbers. Then he came along. The numbers, have you seen the numbers now? It's not only the 18 million people that I believe is even low because they, the gotaways, they don't even talk about gotaways. But the numbers of the, the amount of drugs and human trafficking in women coming across our border, the worst thing I've ever seen, at numbers that nobody's ever seen under him because the border's so bad. But the, the number of drugs coming across our border now... It okay. Well, to be fair, okay, uh, I mean, Mr. Trump, then President Trump, introduced this idea, yeah, build a southern border wall. I agree. I learned from Mr. Trump, okay? I agree. Okay, yeah. 
we do need to be sustainable because we control the flux, speed of immigration. We do need to control it. Yeah, yeah. I agree with him on that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. Okay. To be fair. Okay. Sure. And he has some good ideas, actually. Okay. Yeah. I'm just being objective and fair. Okay. And square. Okay. But I disagree with him, okay? I mean, look, uh, illegal immigrants, 99%, they are motivated to work. And they love America. We can channel that energy, motivation to help American economy, labor force, okay? Yeah. I, I agree, we need to build some world war, but people are already here, even if they're illegal immigrants. I'll give them a job and I'll let them stay in America. Because they will be great asset to American economy, labor force. Okay, okay. So I do not like his idea of mass deportation. No. Okay. I'm kind of in, in the middle in the department. Okay. So, yeah, we need to build southern border wall, but if they are already here, I will give them jobs as long as they are good people. It's just like ninety-nine percent of the case. Okay. One person of time? Yeah, they're criminals. I know. Okay. We put them in jail and let them walk in jail. Okay? Because they're dangerous. Okay? Problem solved, okay? Yeah, no problem. Okay, right, let's continue. Okay. Is, is the largest we've ever had by far. President Trump, thank you. President Biden? Fentanyl and the byproducts of fentanyl went down for a while. And I wanted to make sure we use a machinery that can detect fentanyl, these big machines that roll over everything that comes across the border. And it costs a lot of money. That was part of this deal we put together, this bipartisan deal. More fentanyl machines, more more be able to detect drugs, more more numbers of, of agents, more numbers of all the people at the border. And when we had that deal done, he went, he called us, Republican colleagues said, don't do it. It's going to hurt me politically. No, he never argued it's not a good bill. It's a really good bill. We need those machines. We need those machines. And we're coming down very hard in every country in Asia in terms of precursors for fentanyl. And Mexico is working with us to make sure they don't have the technology to be able to put it together. That's what we have I to do. I think Biden did a very good machines. job in this debate. Okay? Thank you, President Biden. Yeah, media has been very again, the uh, unfair to him. I think Americans he did a very good job. Americans in the addiction right yeah. now struggling yeah. to get the treatment they need. Well, this because this does pertain to it. He ended Remain in Mexico. He ended catch and release. I made it catch and release in Mexico, not catch and release here. We had so many things that we had done, hard negotiations with Mexico, and I got it all for nothing. It's just like when you have a hostage. We always pay $6 billion for a hostage. Every time we say it's a hostage. Now we have a hostage, a Wall Street Journal reporter, I think a good guy, and he's over there because Putin is laughing at this guy, probably asking for billions of dollars for the reporter. I will have him out very quickly, as soon as I take office, before I take office, I said, by literally, as soon as I win the election, I will have that reporter out. He should have had him out a long time ago, but Putin's probably asking for billions and billions of dollars because this guy... Well, actually, uh, from the benefit of hindsight, yeah, the Wall Street Journal reporter is out, back to America, right? Yeah, uh, Biden and his people, uh, he, they did good job getting the reporter out and, and they did not pay billions of dollars yeah, for, with the benefit of hindsight, okay, so... Okay, yeah, that's quite recent news, okay, they're like months after this debate, okay? Okay, so yeah, Trump's prediction was wrong, okay? I paid it every time. We had two cases, we paid six billion dollars for five people. I got 58 people out and I paid essentially nothing. Is your business drowning in paperwork? This is what I can't fit for the market. With smart buying tools from Amazon Business, you can focus on what you do best. Amazon Business, your partner for smart business buying. Thank you, President Trump. Dan? Let's turn to concerns that voters have about each of you. President Biden, you would be 86 at the... Okay, so that's the uh, S episode, right? Yeah, the... Uh... Yeah, the 
between 70 minutes mark and 80 minutes mark and 10 minutes. Okay, we've seen it. And uh, uh, episode 9, I guess there will be final episode for this debate commentary. Uh, we'll do some other time. Let's not have all the fun all at the same time, okay? So, sure. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, uh, what time is it? 9.30 p.m. Alaska time. Yeah, nice still young. So we'll uh, wrap up for this episode, okay? But we may continue uh, the next episode of like uh, Humanology, Fred and Anna edition, right? We might. Okay, but nice still young. I'm not so drunk. Okay, <laughs> okay, so. okay. But we'll wrap it up this, for this episode, okay? Thank you. My proud of you. Yeah, future leaders. Okay. Yeah. Be ambitious. Focus on education, career development, and long martial arts. Okay. Very important. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Very proud. Yeah.